Hopefully now you can hear me. You may not be able to hear me. Hello. Uh, hopefully now you can hear me. Um, we're just getting started. Um, there is a bit of a delay on what you see from what I'm talking. So I am currently talking and it's only now just come up on my screen that you're now seeing the first bit of me talking. Um, so there's a bit of delay, but it should be fine. We don't particularly need to communicate. Um, good to see who's already in. So um, Logan, Logan's with us. Hi, Logan. How's, hi, Alfie from Darlington. Um, we've got Elizabeth from Leeds. Um, so really good to say. So do say hello um, when you're logging in. Let us know who's there. Um, good. Amy can. Amy says she can hear me. So that's good. That's all right. Fix that. Senna's in. Afternoon, Senna. Senna's a regular from my local um, after school clubs. So I know Senna. Um, whereas we've got people from all over the country, which is really cool. Um, this is the first one. So we're very much um, playing it by ear a little bit, seeing if it all works. Um, so let's just give people plenty of time to get in. All you will need is just some fairly regular bricks. Uh, nothing particularly special. Hi, Ellie and Iris from Baldock. You can hear me. Good. Harry from Pool. Becky's got no sound. Everybody else seems to be able to hear me, so I don't know why you've got no sound. Um, Daniel and Annabelle and baby Samuel, who's hopefully not playing with Lego. Oscar, Evie and Wilfred from Welling Garden City. Hi. You're fairly local. Um, I'm based in Ware in Hertfordshire, if you don't know where I am. So if you're that kind of area... Um, Is it you that's glitchy, Marsha? Um, don't know. Ooh, possibly not. This is our first try, so we're going to see how things go. It's all of our first time, Tanya. So, Alf Hi, Alfie. Your first time, but it, it's my first time too. So we, we're going to see how this goes. Right. Um, what time are we on? We'll give it another minute before we start. Just let people get in. Just get your bricks sorted. Um, get yourselves just loads of random bricks. So I've got a base plate. So if you can get yourself a base plate. And then I've just got, got some fairly regular bricks. I've got all sorts of bits here in case I want them. Um, but we're not doing anything that will need anything particularly flashy or specialist today. Um, so it should should be stuff you've got around. Hi, Edward. Hi, Theo and Marcus from Barnsley. Benjamin and Stevenage. Roman. Loads of people on. Excellent. Hopefully we'll have a good time. Oh, somebody's lost us. Don't know. Ooh, we'll see. Hopefully you'll come back. Um, right, so... We're going to start getting to know each other. So we're going to start by trying to make our names. Just because it's quite a nice, it's a nice build to do. Okay, so get yourself some bricks. Get yourself a base plate. Okay, and we'll see what you can come up with um, in terms of building your name. So I'm going to make a start on mine. Um, grab your bricks, join in. Okay, oh, lost me at your back. Go on, draw on your back. Good stuff. Uh, hopefully we won't be too glitchy. And we'll be able to stay together. Okay, so I'm going to do it on a base plate. Now, I've got a feeling, as I say, this first time I've tried this, um, that my webcam is mirroring everything. So my letters might end up backwards. So I'm going to do some just some basic letters. So there's D, because mine is Darren. Finn by Stonehenge. We're not building Stonehenge today. Um, so I'm going to build some letters. So I want you to try and make your names. And I'd love to see, if, we, if once you've done them, if you can take photos and upload them to the Facebook page, it would be really cool to see what people are building. Um, but we're just going to go for our names. So I'm, I'm just using some basic bricks. I've run out of those. Use a couple of these. There we go. So I've done the first two. Now I've got a feeling that's showing them reversed on the screen. Um, but we shall see. 
see whether that looks right or not. I can't see until until the video catches up with what we're doing. I don't know what you're seeing, um, but I think it's showing the mirrored. I'll have to work out for next time how to unmirror my video. I don't know how to do that, uh, but we'll work it out. So first two letters. So I've just did flat letters, but we could do we could do built up letters too. So what else could we do? I need an R next. All right, I'm going to try and do it in mirror image so it looks right. And boom, boom. So see what you can come up with yours. Um, those. What have we got? Oh, hang on. If I shown that on the right screen, wouldn't it? There you go. That's why you can't see what I'm doing. That's my letters. So I've done a D and an A so far. There we go. Hey, Ben. Sorry, Melanie. Thank you for pointing that out. I was showing the, the wrong camera. Um, so I've started. There you go. You can see it now. It's all right. We're making this up as we go along. It's all right. Um, I've run out of right. white bricks. Let's use uh, multicolored. Let's do that. How are we doing? And, and, and. There. That looks like an R, doesn't it? There we go. So I've done some some city down letters and some standing up letters. Does that work? D. See if I can turn them that way up. Okay. R. There we go. The arrow. So flat letters, standing up letters. Anything like any way you want. Hi Tristan, Lorenzo, and is that Rico. Cool. Nice for you to join us. Good to see you here. Um, so as I say, when you've made your letters, do send me some pictures in. Um, green letters aren't very good. What else have I got? Let's do some. Then do a pink E. I'm going to make it big and blocky. Like this. Let's do that. Oh, Logan's here. Hi, Logan. Nice you to join us. On a bit. Longer bit. Um, I'm going to stick a yellow bit under that to make me pink long enough. There, there we go. And then N. I need to do an N. N's are hard. Um, how should we do an N? I know. Let's do. A big stack of white ones, and then we'll do a diagonal of white ones. Oh, there you go. Right. Stick that under there. There we go. Ugh. Cool. Yeah. Back up this side. Try to make the same height. I'm lazy. I owned it. There's two R's in my name. I just didn't do the second R. Okay. So hopefully you've done something with your name. You've made some letters, whether they're stood up letters, whether they're laid down letters. We've done something like that. Cool. Right. I'm going to move on. What should we do? Um, I was thinking because I've got I've got loads of really nice coloured bricks, and I thought it'd be nice to do some sort of rainbow. Now I've got loads of coloured bricks. Um, you might not have quite so many um, different colours, but if you do whatever you've got, um, see what kind of a, of a rainbow that you've got. Now, I was having this thought earlier, and I don't know about you, but when I do a rainbow, I always go red and yellow and pink and green, orange and purple and blue, um, which gives you that rainbow there. That's red and yellow and pink and green, orange and purple and blue. But you can also do 
Richard of York gave battle in vain, or similar things to that, which is that, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, violet. So there's two different versions of a rainbow. So I don't know which you think's a rainbow, but it doesn't really matter. The key thing is that we've got lots of colours, because you might not have all those colours. OK, so have a th look, see what colours of bricks, how many different colours of bricks have you got? What kind of a, of a rainbow can you make? Um, so. I What's the computer doing? We're back. Hopefully we're back. Are we there? I'm hoping we're live again. We froze a minute there. We're very frozen. Come on, come back. Come back to us. I'm going to keep going and hope it comes back. Um, yeah, so I'm going to go for this one. So I'm going to start with a little red. I'm going to keep that there as my reference. I remember what order the colours go. So I'm going to start with red. Let's say you use whatever colours you've got. Uh, I can hear me, but got no picture. Oh, don't know why. I think maybe it's catching up again. So hopefully we're okay. Um, so I'm going to make a little arch out of my red. Does red go on the top of the rainbow or on the bottom of the rainbow? I think red goes on the top, doesn't it? So let's make a big arch out of red. There we go. There's my red. And then I'm going to go orange next for my rainbow. So I'm just going to fill in underneath my red. We're going to go orange. As I say, you might not have all the different colours. And it really doesn't matter. OK, just use whatever you've got. I'm going to have to make it much bigger because I've got all the colours. Mine's going to, have to be massive to fit them all in. Um, let's see what you've got. Elena can hear me. Excellent. And see me. Good. I think most people can see me again. I do a slight glitch there. Technology is a wonderful thing. So I'm building my rainbow. So I've done red and orange. So I want some yellow next. I say, use whatever colours you've got. If you've not got the colours to make proper rainbow colours, it really doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. Hi, Jeanette. Red, orange, yellow, some green. I oh, see. I'm going to have to go bigger because I've run out of space. That looks really cool. Yeah, but I want I want to get some more colours in, so I'm going to make it a bit taller. And so I'll add a couple more reds to each end. There we go. A couple more orange. Yada yada. Here we are. Uh, yellow. There we are. Lost them for a minute. Bricks all over the place. Green. I'm still going to have to make it bigger again. I'm not going to fit three more colours on this, am I? Uh, blue. Next. That's blue. Make another layer. Yellows, orange, red, blue, purple next. Now, purple's quite an unusual colour, and probably most of you haven't got purple bricks. Um, I can't even remember where I got these ones from. Yeah, but so there we go. And so, now am I going to get just enough? I think I'll get at least one pink brick on the end just to finish off 
Oh, I'm going to have to take, I think I've just got enough orange. As I say, if you've not got enough, just make it with whatever colours you've got. It really doesn't matter. Key thing is that it looks nice. We're just going for pretty pictures, pretty colours. Yellow. Green to green. Blue. Purple. I think quite possibly these purple and pink bricks came from some friends' sets. Pink. There we go. It's only a very little bit of pink. There we are. There's my rainbow. It's massive. Elizabeth showed me pictures. Excellent. I will look at those later on. Um, because I've got three screens going now and looking at anything else would really confuse me. Um, but hopefully you can see my rainbow there and you've my something similar. Okay, some type of rainbow yourself. It might not be as big as mine. It might not have all the colours in that mine's got. Okay, you might have used different sized bricks. And it might be a bit more higgledy-piggledy, but it doesn't matter. Okay, we're just having a bit of fun. So there we go. There's my rainbow. So I've done my rainbow and I've done my name. I'm going to leave it. Where can I put that? I might go there. There, behind my the mouse. It's going there. There we go. Move the bricks out of the way. So hopefully, so those, if you've only just joined us, do say hello. Put your pictures, put your comments in. So tell me what your name is and where you are. It's amazing how far around the country we are. Um, so we've just been doing some basic building with some basic bricks. Okay, so we've made names. So we've been making some letters, some so some flat letters, um, and we've made some stood up letters. And you can decorate your letters once you've got your letters. You know, you can add a mini figure. Let's have Robin Hood. There he is. Oh, I've broken it. That wasn't very good, was it? Yeah. Oh, and I've knocked the E over as well. Oh, it's all fallen to pieces. There we go. All right. There. Yeah. So you can add minifigures. You can add decorations to them. Um, you can put them on wheels. There's absolutely no reason why if you've got some fancy doing it. There we go. Look. We'll put my R. There you go. Oh, it even rolls around, look. Hi, George. Nice say hello. Sorry, there is a delay, so you might think he's not replying to me. It just takes a bit of time for me to get your messages after you've said them. Um, so, hopefully, there we go. Um, what we're going to try and do each week is do some different builds. So, we start. I just started off this week just with nothing special. Okay, so that it wasn't anything that you did, wouldn't have the pieces to hand just because it's just bricks and whatever. Uh, next week, you are going to need a balloon. Okay, so you will need some wheels. Any sort of wheels, doesn't really matter. Okay, but you will need a balloon. Okay, so if you've not got a balloon, have a look around, see if you've got one at home. Hi, Chloe. Um, yeah, have a look, see if you can find a balloon at home or see if somebody can get you a balloon sometime before next week. If you haven't got a balloon, hi Archie and Sophie, if you haven't got a balloon, you can still join in and do the rest of the build. OK, but the bit that involves the balloon, you won't be able to do, but you'll be able to do everything else. OK, so don't worry too much. But if you can get a balloon, it would be really good fun. OK. So who's got Finley and Ethan from Chester? We're all over the country today. Really cool. This is our first one, if you didn't know. So we're very. Do let me know how it's going for you. Um, do let me know if I'm going too fast. I do tend to talk quite fast, so I do apologise. Um, but yeah, let me know. We've done our names. We've done a rainbow. Okay. I'll tell you what we're going to do. We're going to. Do how long have we been going? 20 minutes. 
just going to liquefy the mouth. It's like my mug. It says Master Builder on it. It's very cool. Right. What we are going to do um, next week, balloon. Okay, balloon next week. Um, last thing we're going to do today is let's have a bit of, we're going to have a bit of a challenge. I'm going to leave my R there. Um, and we are going to, I'm kind of running out of space. Um, if, you had, I'm, if you can't tell from the background, I'm sat in my garage. I don't have a lot of room. Um, so I'm, I'm kind of pinned in with cameras. At least this camera is better. We tried it earlier and the camera earlier was rubbish, but this camera is much nicer. Look, you can see my hands. It's very lovely. Um, so what we're going to do for our last build is we're all going to have a, a bit of a, of a of a race, okay? And we're going to see how fast a tower we can build, okay? All at the same time, okay? So get yourself a little base plate, all right? And then get yourself a load of bricks. doesn't matter what sort of bricks. They can be big bricks or little bricks. Okay, separate it. So all mine are piled up in mud. So I'm separating them all out. So they're all individual bricks. Now we're going to do it one-handed. Okay. Now, if you are local to me, you may have been to a local event, a Lego event we have called Where's the Bricks? And uh, last couple of years, we've had a guy there, Chris. Um, he's a world record holder for Lego building towers. Okay. And he builds um, one-handed towers so you have to build it with one hand and see how tall you can make it okay in um one minute so we're going to give that a go uh -huh. so i'm going to sort out i'm going to put a load of bricks so i've got bricks handy. they can be any size so mine are all two by fours because i've got loads of two by four bricks handy but there's some two by threes there i might stick some two by some one by ones on the top slope ones aren't great because they're not great for joining on top of so i wouldn't recommend using slopes uh let's see get yourself a load of bricks and see how i'm i'm trying to get mine organized because i want to be quick okay so i've got some there's some smaller ones threes uh, i've also got some longer ones that i think i'm going to use my long ones on the bottom once we got one of those. It'll be anything you like. Okay. And you can message me and let me know how many bricks tall your tower is at the end of the time. Okay. So I'm just going to wait for my watch to go to a minute and then we'll start. So on your marks, get set, go. Right. Oh, one handed, one handed. The other hand behind my back. Uh -huh. How are we doing? How are we doing? Where are we on? Two, four, six, seven, ten, eleven. I think I'm on eleven so far. What? Oh. Mm. Yeah. Problem is, the taller it gets, the wobblier it gets. Is doing this time? Ah. Oh, I've gone wonky as well. I'm building off the oh, I'll move it forward. Can you see? No, it doesn't help. You can't see mine. Mine's off the top of the screen. Um, oh, it's gone really wonky. It starts off it's, down here. It's really neat, and you see how it goes. It's gone really wonky up here. Um, how are we doing? Are you as tall as mine yet? Ah! Oh no! No! It all fell over. I've got to start again now. If it falls, you've got to start again. You can't just stick it back on again. Oh, I was doing really well there. Three, two, one. Stop building! Ah, oh, gutted. Gutted. Look, how all those and they fell off. So mine is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. Mine is eighteen bricks tall. OK, so send me a comment. Let me know how tall yours is. Did you beat 18 bricks tall?
<laughs> we going glitchy? A little bit. There we are. Okay. So, oh. And if you've oh, 10 for Marcus. Thank you, Marcus. Let me know. 10. Marcus got 10. Well done. 26 from Helen. I'm not going to say what your age is, Helen. You're still younger than me, so you're all right. Um, George got 21. Mum got 23. Um, 26 from Elizabeth. 9 and 18 from Sarah's children. I don't know. I can't remember what your names are. Oh, Finley and Ethan. I've got you just there on the screen. Senna got 32. That's amazing. That's because you're a trained professional, Senna. That's what it is. Um, 24 from Kerry. 25 from Angeline. Really, lots of you beat me, probably because yours didn't fall over. Gutted. Gutted. 20, Angelina and Angelina is only six years old as well. I'm, I'm assuming it's not Angelina. It's Angelina's child. And I can't remember what your name was. Chloe. Well done, Chloe. Who's six? 16 for Edward. Well done. We've done well. There's some good towers. We got some pretty quick building. Did anybody else fall over? Or was it just me that knocked theirs over? Rubbish. Rubbish I am. Right. Mm -mm. So, yeah. So, next week, balloons and wheels you will need. As well as, obviously, lots of other bricks. 15 from Tristan. 22 from Lorenzo. And Rico got three. Olivia got 99. 90. That's amazing. Did you really do that with one hand? Was there no cheating or anything going on? 99 is exceptionally impressive. I can't even remember what the world record is, but it's. I'm fairly sure it's not 99. I'll have to check. Oh, it's reconnected again. Hopefully it's coming back. We've lost picture. Hopefully I'm coming back and you'll see me again. 25 from Dylan. Well done, Dylan. Right. Um, so, send me in pictures of your letters that you've made. Decorate the, oh, carry on decorating them later. Add to them. So you kind of go, oh, actually, I could do that. They can be as big or as small as you like. It's great to see your names. Really good. Um, send us pictures if you manage to make a rainbow in whatever colours you manage to do your rainbow in. Mine's very triangular. I might rebuild it and see if I can get more of a curve to it. I might not have enough bricks for that, but I'll take a lot of bricks. This took a lot of bricks. So do send me pictures and let me know in real else how many tower, how tall your towers were. 29 for Daniel. Anything in the high 20s is really good. I'm slightly sceptical of 99. 99 sounds ridiculously tall. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. That that's ten type how can you even reach ninety-nine? It's up there. Be massive. Right. So send me in your pictures. Get yourself sorted next week with a balloon and some wheels. Okay, we're gonna make balloon cars. Just realised I've spent balloon wrong. Two L's in balloon. He's going. Well, they're going. Well, what are you talking about? It doesn't say balloon anywhere. It does on the next screen. It says balloon. Um. So. There. Oh, there we go. 21 from Dylan, 17 from Matthew, well done. So, next week, we are going to do balloon cars. Okay, same time. Cool, Marks and Theory, look, hopefully you've enjoyed it. Let's say this is the first one we've done. Um, so, do let me know. Hopefully, it wasn't too um, glitchy and jerky and you could see and hear okay. But do let me know. We're experimenting. As I say it's the first time we've done it. Um, yeah, send us in your pictures. Post them on the Facebook page. 
Send them in with emails. Elizabeth enjoyed herself. Good. Thank you, Elizabeth. I'm glad you enjoyed it. Um, and see us again next week. Um, and we'll do some more building. Um, do follow the Facebook page. We, po- we post ideas and stuff on there all the time. Um, so do do have a look and see what we've been up to recently. Um, and do join in. And if you are local, um, you know where we are. We, as I say, we run... We'd go into schools doing after school clubs. So get your school to give us a shout if you'd like us to come in um, and do some stuff. And obviously we do parties and things. Um, and we do scout groups and guide groups and brownies and rainbows and beavers and cubs. We go into all of those because I'm a beaver leader. Senna's enjoyed himself. Good stuff, Senna. Alison got 13. Well done, Alison. But it's not Alison, I'm assuming. I'm assuming it's Alison's child. I can't remember who you are. Um, but excellent. I'm glad you've enjoyed it. Um, And we shall see you next week. Bye-bye.